there are only so many days left to do all the things to get ready for the holidays. Are you ready? How am I gonna get it all done? Where am I gonna find the time? If this sounds like you, if you're feeling super stressed about all this, then please tap along with me now and we'll address those feelings of the time crunch of doing all the things. Welcome to the 12 Days of Stressmas, a little EFT tapping support for the holidays. I'm Stephanie Wood, EFT tapping trainer and practitioner for more than 20 years, and I'm also the creator of Ultra EFT, which stands for Understanding Life Through Realization and Awareness. So let's just start tapping. By tapping along with this video, you agree to take full responsibility for your own well being. Let's start by connecting with your feelings about what's there. We're gonna try and keep this short and sweet because time is of the essence right now for you. Otherwise you wouldn't be feeling stressed out. So as you think about this time pressure, all the stuff you need to do between now and the holiday, what's there? What's happening in your system? Do you feel your body start to react? Do you feel your breath get short, your heart constrict? Do you feel, where do you notice it? And tune into that. Notice how intense it is for you. And if you can, give it a rating on a scale from zero to 10. So remember that you can change the words as we go. It's up to you. So tapping on the side of your hand, even though there is so much to do and not enough time. And I have a lot of feelings of pressure about this. That's where I'm at right now. And it's not really comfortable. Even though I don't even know if this tapping will help me, it's not going to take the things off my list. <laughs> it's totally not going to, and that's okay. I notice how I'm feeling about this and that's really, really okay. Even though I'm honoring myself by taking a few moments to do this, even though I know I have so much on my plate, I accept myself as best I can in this moment. Top of the head. There is so much to do inside of the eyebrow. There's just not enough time. Side of the eye, this feeling like there's not enough time. Under the eye, I feel really stressed out about it. Under the nose, what if I don't get to all the things? Chin, Maybe I have people counting on me. Collarbone. Maybe I've taken on too much. Under the arm. Maybe I've procrastinated. But now I'm left with not enough time. And the wrist, there's not enough time. Period. Top of the head. And I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about it. Inside of the eyebrow, I feel stressed. Side of the eye, this time pressure. Under the eye, I'm really acknowledging it right now. Under the nose, there's too much to do. Chin and not enough time. We're just going to stay with this for a moment. Just really notice if that's what the thoughts are that you're holding. Collarbone, there's too much to do and not enough time. Why am I tapping here when I have things to do? <laughs> Under the arm, there's too much to do and not enough time. Rest, there is too much to do and not enough time, period. Take a breath, shake that off, or rest your hands in your lap and take a nice calming breath. 
tapping on the top of the head. I acknowledge there's a lot on my plate. Inside of the eyebrow. What if there are some things I could take off my plate? Side of the eye. What if there's some ways I could simplify this? Under the eye. Even then, I have so much to do. Under the nose. And it feels like there's not enough time. Chin. But what if I could be open to the possibility? Collarbone. That I could somehow slow myself down inside. Under the arm. And be able to calmly focus on one thing at a time. And the rest. Putting one foot in front of the other. One step at a time. Top of the head. Being present and aware inside of the eyebrow. Maybe even being relaxed while I'm doing it. Side of the eye. What if I didn't let the pressure get to me? Under the eye. What if I could feel different about this? Under the nose. The fact is there are a bunch of tasks that need to get done. Chin. And I have X amount of days left. Collarbone. I could get myself whipped up into an emotional tizzy. Under the arm. And do my best to do all those things in that crunch time. And the wrist. Or I could be really calm and relaxed and get those things done. Top of the head. Who would I be if I stayed relaxed and focused while I'm dealing with all the stuff I need to do? Inside of the eyebrow. All those thoughts about pressure. Side of the eye. All that feeling of pressure. Under the eye. I deeply acknowledge that now. Under the nose. I may not be able to have control over that. Chin. But what if I just didn't care that I had a pressure feeling? Collarbone. Okay, there's that stupid <laughs> pressure feeling again. <laughs> what if I just don't care? Under the arm. I can just go back to doing the task at hand. Take a breath. And the rest. And what if there's something about this I'm not seeing? Top of the head. What if I could be open to more clarity around this? Inside of the eyebrow. What if there's something about this that I haven't seen until now? Side of the eye. I give myself permission to see something new about this. Under the eye. Even if it means simplifying. Under the nose. Even if it means forgiving myself for procrastinating. Chin. Even if it means forgiving myself for taking on too much. Collarbone. What if I'm going to do as much as I can do? Period. Under the arm. And what if I didn't beat myself up about anything I don't get to? And the 
the rest. I wonder what that kind of new perspective might look and feel like. Okay, take a breath, shake that out or rest your hands in your lap. And now I just want you to think about that feeling that you had at the beginning of, you know, there's not enough time, too much to do. And if you can tune into it again, see if you can give it a rating on a scale from zero to 10. Notice if it's any different than when you began. If you are more relaxed, that's great. If you're still pretty tense about everything, if you do have time, listen to this again or continue tapping until you notice a little more calm kind of enter your being. And just note that you may start to have some more insights or clarity about this in the hours after doing this tapping or even in the days that follow. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're feeling more relaxed, centered and grounded than you did when you began. Be sure to check out the other tap along videos for the 12 days of stressmas. <laughs> Hopefully it will be not stressmas. And a final note, tapping videos are definitely never a substitute for properly learning how to tap on yourself by taking a tapping training or course with an accredited organization like EFT International. So also these are not substitutes for seeing a qualified EFT practitioner. So thank you again and happy tapping.